and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today we're looking at Colouring Kawaii Mandala Magic Volume 1 which is by Danny Banani of Funusual Suspects. So straight away when you look at the cover of this book you can tell what kind of book it's going to be. It's going to be super fun, we're going to have loads of little very very cute cartoonish style animals and creatures and yeah it's just one of those books that you, you look at straight away and it just makes you happy. Um, so as we, as you probably know by now, I'm not a big fan of mandalas in general. Uh, the only time I really colour mandalas is when I'm feeling very highly stressed or anxious because to me it just helps to mindlessly fill in spaces rather than have to think about colours and things. Uh, but when it comes to mandalas that actually have a theme or, you know, creatures within them or, or something that's not just geometrical lines on a page, I really, really love them. It, you know, it's something very, very quick and uh, simple and easy and fun and light that you can colour without having to get into too much of a thought process about colours and, and things like that. So firstly, the book itself, you can see it's this kind of format. It is about eight by 10, I think, or at least the pages are, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, we've got a spiral binding across the top. So it's gonna be easy for you to tear out your pages. Also easy for you to lay it flat when you're coloring as well, no matter whether you're right or left-handed. Now the cover itself is made of a thick card. I think it's coated in plastic, that's how it feels. And the back is the same, so it's like this thick piece of plastic and it gives you a really nice hard surface to colour on when you're, you know, maybe if you're on the train or you're sitting on your settee on your lap, it gives you that little bit of extra sturdiness and a rigidity to colour on. So we open it up and the first page is just telling you all about the different elements. So this is telling you about Kauai and where that originated from, about mandalas, about this particular book and about the artist. So we'll just go through a couple of the details now. So if you don't already know, Kauai is a Japanese culture of cuteness that was created in the 70s and it's pretty much taken over the world since. Um, you've probably seen all of the really cute Kauai um, colouring books that are out and even drawing books how to draw your own kawaii creatures and basically it's just putting a little smiley face on very small cute chubby little creatures whether that's um you know a dinosaur or whether it's a, a coca-cola cup <laughs> you just put a face on it a cute little face and it's kawaii uh, mandalas, as we know, is an art form that has been going forever and ever and ever. Uh, it was popularised in India and Japan, characterised by circular shapes, repeating patterns and intricate designs. And then about this book itself. So Danny says it's her sincere attempt to bring two beautiful art styles together in a tasteful, respectful way, whilst remaining true to the aesthetics and ideals of both. The individual images might be cute and even a little silly, but the overall effect is meant to be peaceful, calming, playful and joyful. I hope you can lose yourself in colouring these images in the same way that I did when I was originally creating them. This book has also been designed for people who are serious about colouring. I've tried to pay close attention to the details with premium paper, interesting features and 8x10 ready to frame art prints. So we'll go into that more as we go through the book. And then we've got about the artist. So we've got Danny Banani, as her friends call her. Um, she's a mixed media artist, crafter and small business owner based in the Pacific Northwest of the USA. Started in commercial design, uh, she runs a small art based online business with her partner, her two dogs and cat <laughs> and you can find them over at funusualsuspects.com. So that's all about the book and the author etc. Now she's very very handily included a blotting page now this is not something you generally find in coloring books usually you've got to get your own piece of scrap card or something to put underneath to catch any bleed through from the media that you're using but she has very very generously added one in and it's very thoughtful to do that you know it is something that us colorists need when we when we're coloring we need something to put beneath especially when we're using markers and wet media so this is the blotting page and what you do is you cut along the dotted line across here and then you slide it in between the pages that you're coloring and uh, as you can see you can color it as well if you wanted to so it's up to you but it's nice to have that option there we also have a coloring test page so you can see loads of different elements from the book have been printed out and they're there for you to quickly test your colors test your media make sure that they don't bleed or spread or what have you you can just 
chuck anything at it and see what it's going to what it's going to do and how this paper's going to react so these four here i quickly just filled in with um some water-based markers but i did also want to check how pencils um react on the paper now this kind of thing mandalas and uh, simple illustrations like this i prefer to color with markers because it's just a lot quicker um and you know it's up to you how you want to do it but with for me personally markers just goes with this kind of thing it's quicker to do and it's simple and it's easy um but i did of course want to test pencils because the paper to me as thick as it is, and it really is very, very thick cardstock, incredibly thick, uh, it feels very, very smooth. And I was concerned at the start that it would not take pencils, or at least it would be very, very difficult to layer and blend them. Now, as you can see down here, I've created a gorgeous blend with my Prismacolor pencils, and there was absolutely no problem whatsoever in layering that blend up. So you're fine to use whatever it is you want. I just prefer to use markers. So we've got into the first mandala and as you can see it's one that I've coloured already. This is called The Breakfast Bonanza and the great thing about this book is that each mandala has its own really cute quirky name. You also have a little colour testing swatch at the top of every single page so that you can note down your colours, uh, the ones that you've used or the ones you're planning to use and uh, yeah so it's it's just it's been really really thoughtfully put together this book with the spiral binding and the very very thick paper and um, you know being able to cut them and have an 8 by 10 ready to frame print uh, so yeah lots and lots of thought has gone into this so I really had fun colouring this one breakfast bonanza you can see we've got the milk the cereal the eggs the bacon uh, the toast the croissant the pancakes uh, all sorts and yeah I had loads of fun I coloured the mandalas in this book with my Karin brush marker pros which I've done a review on if you want to go and have a look so the next one is dynamite doodles as you can see there's loads and loads of dinosaurs of all different species on here we've got stegosaurus and pterodactyl uh t-rex and bronchosaurus <laughs> i don't know if i'm remembering these names rightly but yeah and i love how we start off with the really big dinosaurs and it goes into these smaller um little dinosaur baby dinosaurs just hatching out of the eggs in the center this one's forecast fun, so this is all about the weather. You can see we've got rainbows, clouds, sunshine, um, stars, shooting stars, all sorts of stuff. Then we've got going hog wild. This has got all the different little pigs that you can imagine. And I think this one would be really, really good coloured with the pigs green, like in Angry Birds. Um, so yeah, I might do that next. But we've got all sorts. We've got um, pigs in astronaut helmets, pigs rolling around in mud, of course flying pigs um there's all sorts there's all sorts next we've got cute and classy so this is all about the classroom or school supplies we've got briefcase notepad rucksack uh ruler apple sharpener is there a sharpener i've just said sharpener when i meant to say stapler um, glue pencils little pins um calculators alarm clocks all sorts Here's another one that I've coloured, as you can see this is fresh and fruity and I have added my colour palette along the top of the colours that I used. Uh, again, just had so much fun colouring it and I did the mandalas that I have coloured in this book all while I was watching a movie. So as a, again, just really, really quick, uh, simple and fun colouring to do. It was nice just to block colour for a change without having to think about blends and stuff. This is monster mashup, so loads of different kinds of uh, cute and quirky monsters. What can you say? We've got uh, tentacled monsters, we've got big, uh, sort of scary looking monsters, but to be honest with you, none of it looks scary because they've all got such cute faces. But yeah, this is one of the more detailed ones. And that's another thing about the book is there seems to be a variation of detail as you go through, um, whether you're looking for something a little bit more open and simple or a little bit more detailed and intricate. So this is camping cuties. We've got our tents, we've got our log campfires, um, mushrooms, our toadstools, um, lamps and fishing rods and all, all sorts of things. All sorts seems to be the watchword for this book, doesn't it? Because <laughs> it is filled with all sorts of stuff. Uh, calling all candy. So here we've got all of your candy and sweets. We've got lollipops, gumball machines, candy canes, candy floss, uh, stuff like that. Then we've got sweet and slow, which is the sloth page. Do you say sloth or sloth? I've never actually heard anyone call it sloth, but um, yeah. <laughs> so loads of sloths just hanging around, chilling, drinking coffee, 
Uh, why would you drink coffee if you're a sloth? That must be some kind of herbal tea, I should think. Uh, Pokey pals. So we had sloths, now we've got cacti. All different shapes and sizes, the ones that you would find typically in the desert and then little tiny succulent cacti that you would have on your desk at work or something. Then we've got the brew crew. So this is all about tea and coffee, whatever whatever you have in your mug. Um, we've got cream covered coffee cups and little tiny weeny cute cats sticking out of all of the cups. Baking buddies. So this one is all about cooking and bakery. We have a mixer, we've got a rolling pin and a spatula and a glove and a whisk and as you can see just all sorts of bits and bobs. Next one is another one that I've done, Movie Madness. Had to do this one, I love my movies as you know and I really had fun um, keeping the colours fairly limited on this. And when I say fairly limited, if you look back at the other ones I did, I sort of threw every single colour at them but I decided to limit it a little bit because I do think mandalas look... I don't know, it just gives them an extra edge if you keep the colours very limited. And this is what I did here. So we've got the burgundy for the chairs. Then we've got the uh, purple on all of the cameras. And basically it was just blue and grey after that. A little bit of yellow thrown in. But I know that sounds like an awful lot of colours for someone keeping it limited. But I think you can see it's kind of cohesive and it works. Next up is... Crafting Cute. So for all you crafters out there, we have loads of different things on this one. We've got sewing machines, sketchbooks, pens, um, scissors, washi tape, um, wool and paint palettes and glue and paint and uh, even a glue gun, even a hot glue gun. So any kind of um, crafting that you do should be represented on this one. Fast food fantasy. This one is all about your McDonald's, your KFC and all those other brands that are available. <laughs> so we've got tacos, we've got pretzels, ice cream. I think these are called corn dogs. And I, I'm pretty sure I tried one when I went to America as a kid and I just I thought they were disgusting. But no offence <laughs> to any corn dog lovers out there. Um, burgers and condiments and fries and soda and all that good stuff. Then we've got Forest Friends. This one's really, really cute. It's got foxes and bears and owls, snakes and bats and mice and hedgehogs and all different squirrels and cute things that you would find in the forest. We've got Soy Good Sushi. So I'm not a sushi fan, but I have seen a lot of these, you know, typically sushi shapes, <laughs> if that makes sense, in colouring books. So I kind of recognise them. But yeah, all about sushi. I'm sure you can... You can recognise exactly what these pieces are, but I can't. Uh, this is called A Whole Llama Love, which I particularly enjoy because as a huge Led Zeppelin fan, I like that play on words there. But it's all about the llamas. So these are really kind of popular in, in this um, in this recent times, aren't they? Llamas and unicorns and all that stuff. You can find them on mugs and uh, plates and all kinds of stuff. When you go in the supermarket, it seems to be taken over by llama things or flamingo things or unicorn things at the moment. So cute little fluffy llamas then we've got frozen friends so this is all about your frozen delights we've got ice cream frozen yogurt uh, popsicles and i think that's it really isn't it sundays uh i think that's it i can't see anything else that i can recognize apart from that but it's all the good frozen stuff here's another one that i completed this is barnyard beauties uh so i got some red on the uh, on the barn very typical traditional barn colors I think anyway, in America especially, it's what you see on movies, isn't it? I don't really see any red barns in the UK, but uh, we've got horses and goats and tractors and little chicks and cute stuff. Awesome auto autom I knew I wasn't going to be able to say this. Awesome automatons, which is all about robots. As you can see, this is another one of the more uh, intricate designs. So we've got all kinds of different robots here made out of all sorts of different things. Next is Totally Tripping. So this is about your vacation and your holiday. We've got mountains and aeroplanes and signs and ships and uh, hot air balloons and suitcases and maps and cameras and all the stuff that you would associate with going away. Bar Stars. This is all about drinks that you would find in the bar. So we've got cocktail shakers. We've got blenders to blend your ice. Um, we've got little slivers of lime and orange or lemon or whatever it is that you put in your drink, cocktails, beer, wine, 
uh, whiskey, anything really, it's all there. Great Galaxy, so this one is obviously all about planets, the solar system, we've got rocket ships, astronauts, uh, comets and stars. This is Ready, Set, Grow, so all about your vegetables. What do we have here? We've got carrots and, uh, well, these, these could be cucumber or they could be marrow. Um, pumpkins and avocado, I think you guys call it eggplant in America and all the different things there, radishes, onions, whatever. Wonderful Wee Folk. So this one's really cute because it has that whimsical, fantastical element to it. We've got garden gnomes and fairies and little fairy houses with little flower roofs. Again, with the mushrooms and the little lamps. It's very, very cute, that one. Here we've got Funny Felines. So if you're a cat lover, you will adore this one. Just all different cats doing funny things, really. Cats looking scared, cats looking sleepy, uh, cats looking like they're on the prowl. We've got even little balls of wool for them to chase as well. This one's called the Friendly Face Space. So there's nothing particularly themed about this one apart from that they're all really, really cute and they're all really, really friendly. And finally, we've got bonus points. So this is showing us all the different narwhals, which are creatures that I didn't even know till recently actually existed. I thought they were a fantasy creature, but they're actually real. And they have horns and yeah, they're just really cute. So that's the end of the book. Now I did mention about the paper earlier being very, very thick, which it is. It is a very thick cardstock. I'm not sure exactly on pound weight, but it is super thick. Uh, nothing really bled through. There was a few parts, I suppose, that I coloured over a few times that have shadowed slightly, but nothing bleeding. But as you say, you've got that blotter page at the start anyway. And with them being one sided, you don't really have to worry about ruining anything. So that is the book in its entirety. Now, a few more things I need to tell you, uh, the shipping and the book prices, obviously. Now, this is available on Etsy and I'll be linking it in the description. The book costs $24 and it's free to ship within the US. If you're in the UK, it's going to cost you £19 and £11 to ship. So I know for a fact that that is quite a substantial cost. Now, I agree with the price on the book itself. I think it is reasonable for the amount of, not just the amount of colouring that you'll get done, but, you know, the, the standard of the illustrations, they're all, they've all been printed very crisply, very cleanly. Um, the, it, it's just a really, really good standard of illustration, even though it's just a cute, cartoony type of thing. It's nothing, you know, it's not fine art, let's put it that way. But it's more about the the way that the book's been put together, I think, that justifies that cost. So you've got the spiral bind, you've got the thick paper, you've got the opportunity to cut them and they're ready to frame. They're in a really good ready to frame size that's easily able to find frames for. Uh, yeah, you've obviously got the good paper um, and you've got the, the premium front and back cover that makes it easy to colour on. So all these different things have been taken into account um, you know, it's not just made for kids. It's not, you know, it, it's got some features there that us colorists always look for. So yes, I do think the price of it is reasonable. Obviously there's nothing we can do about shipping costs. I'm afraid that's just what they are. You know, no money is made off of that. So really it's gonna be one of those books that you either really, really want, or you think, mm, I'll probably maybe put that in my basket or, you know, favorite it for later, but I don't really wanna buy it right now. And that's totally fine. So. The link's going to be in the description anyway, but I think, like me, an awful lot of you are going to really, really love this book just because it's cute and it's fun and it's been produced very, very, very well. So I'd really love to know what you think about the book. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.